Okay, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to convert your text to a path or a object here. So right now I have this text box. This is just your standard text. When I click on it, you can see that I can change the font here. So let's find a slightly uh, more exciting font. Uh, sure, this one works. If I double click on this, I can go ahead and I can you know edit this. I can do whatever it is that I want, um, like so. But this is, in fact, text. So I can't manufacture this in any way. A machine can't interpret text. This is more of a visual thing. So if we wanted to, say, cut this out as a sticker or engrave this, we need to actually convert it to a shape. So what I do is I have my text selected. I hit Modify, go to the Path menu, and I click Convert to Path. Now, look what changed. I can no longer select my text, and I can hit Undo here. However, once you convert it to a path, you really can't go back. So you can't have it be a path, then turn it back into text. It stays a path forever once you start modifying this. So I have a path. You notice when I drag it, um, it actually, you can see the path here that we're working with. So this is now a shape. And if I went into modify and go to path, I can say split path. Oops. And now I can even modify these individually. So look, I have the individual parts of the shape. So if I were to hover over this, I can use my subtract, I'm just going to cut these holes out using my subtract tool, my pathfinder window, so it kind of looks like the text, but I can now edit these shapes individually, so say I can you know, change the size of individual letters, I can rotate individual letters around, I can do whatever I want, I can modify this as if it was a shape, not a path. Likewise, I can actually use my subselect arrow to modify individual parts of the text. So again, these are now individual shapes here that I can really do whatever that I want with um, and really create some pretty interesting designs with now that it is pure uh, path. And again, from here, I could produce this on a CNC machine or whatever it is that I want to do.